Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a badge and give it to players in your game. And there you go. So we give a player a badge when they join the game. So let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. The first thing you want to do before we start actually creating this badge is publish your place. So to do that, just click on the file menu up at the top here. And then you can either do publish to Roblox if you're not worried about the name right now, or if you want to give it a name and a description, then do publish to Roblox as. Okay, so after your game is published, the next thing you want to do is go over to game settings. Once you open up game settings, then you're going to look for monetization. Once you're on this menu here, then you're going to look for the badges section and click on the blue create button. Once you do that, it's going to open a web browser and it'll bring you to a screen that looks like this here. There's three different things you have to do for your badge. You have to create an image for it. You have to give your badge a name and then give your badge a description. As far as making the image, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. But once you have your image, then you're just going to select choose file. Go ahead and navigate to where you have your picture saved on your computer. For me, I just created a folder in my pictures called badges, and this is where I'm going to keep all my badges. So once you found your picture, go ahead and click on it and then press open. Once you do that, it has loaded in your picture. Go ahead and give your badge a name. And then after that, just give it a short description. Once you have that filled out, go ahead and press preview. Likely you're not going to see the image yet. It takes a little bit for the image to process, but if you're happy with the name and the description, go ahead and press purchase. After that, you're done. You have created your badge and you can go back to your game. Now in the same section, if you click on the refresh icon and scroll down, you'll see the new badge that we just created. Now that we have the badge created, we're just going to write a short script so that when the player joins the game, we give them this badge. So to do that, we're going to locate the server script service. So there it is right here. We're going to be adding a script inside of the server script service. And to do that, you're just going to click on the plus sign and then click on script. The first thing we're going to do in this script is load in the badge service. To do that, we're going to say local badge service. And that's going to be equal to game colon get service. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put quotation marks and then badge service. Next, we're going to create a variable for players. So we'll say local players. And that's going to be equal to game colon get service. Inside the parentheses, again, we're going to put quotation marks. And this time, we're going to say players. After that, we're going to create a variable that's going to store our badge ID. So we'll say local badge ID, and that's going to be equal to, to find your badge ID, you're just going to go back to that same menu. So click on the home, game settings, go to monetization. You're going to scroll down and find the badge that you want to give. So let's say I want to give this badge right here. Then all I'm going to do is click on the three dots and then click copy ID to clipboard. After you do that, you can close out of the window. And then back on the script, you can either right click and then press paste or use the keyboard shortcut, which is control V. That's our badge ID. So that's linked to the badge we just created in this video. So when the player joins the game, we're going to give them that badge. To award the badge, we're going to create a function. We'll say local function. We're going to name our function award badge. We're going to give this function two different things. We're going to give it the player that we want to give the badge to. And then we also need to tell it which badge to give, and that's going to be based on our badge ID. So we're going to say badge ID. It's okay that these two are not the same. We'll see why in just a second. The first thing we want to do is get some information about this badge. To do that, we'll say local success, comma, badge info. This is going to be equal to P call. So this is a protected call. The reason we're using a P call is so that we can try to run a function. If it doesn't work, then it's not going to kill the whole script, and we can do something when it errors out. So inside the p call, we're going to put function. Inside this function, we're going to say return, and then badge service. This is the same as what we created at the top. We're going to say colon, get, badge, info, async. And then here, we're going to pass it the badge ID, and that's going to be the one that we're passing to the function. So in a p call, the first variable is going to be a boolean, so that's going to be true or false. 
based on whether this function was able to successfully run. And then the second one is going to store the info that was actually returned by the function. So here what we can do is we can say if success, then what we want to do is make sure the badge is enabled so we're able to give it. So we'll say if badge info. So this badge info is coming from this call right here. And we're going to check its property called is enabled. And if that's true, then what we want to do is give the player the badge. So we're going to wrap this in another P call. So we'll say local award success, comma result. Uh, these two names here are not super important, so feel free to use whatever you want to for those. Just make sure if you do change it, that you change it later on in the script too. Okay, again, this is gonna be equal to a P call. Inside here, again, it's gonna be function. What we're gonna do inside here is say return, and then again, we're gonna say badge service. This time, we're gonna say award badge. Award badge needs two different things. It's going to need the player's user ID and also the badge ID. So we can get the player's user ID by saying player dot user ID, and then we're gonna say comma, and then badge ID. So just keep in mind that when we say player, this is not automatic. We actually have to give this function a player, which we haven't done yet. So if we just try to run this function as is, it's not gonna do anything because we actually haven't supplied a player yet. Okay, so next what we're going to do is provide an alternative if success is not true. So in this case for now, let's just say else. And then if success is not true, which means it wasn't able to run this function, then for now we're just going to put a warning in the output. And then here we're just going to put something like this. That takes care of the function for awarding the badge. So all we have to do now is run this function whenever a player joins the game. To do that, we're going to say players dot player added colon connect. Inside here, we're gonna say function. Inside the parentheses here, we're going to say player. So this is gonna be the player that joined the game. And now all we have to do is run our function that we just created. We're going to give it the player that joined the game. And then we're also going to give it the badge that we want to award. So to do that, we're just going to pass the badge ID. And that's why it doesn't matter that this one doesn't match this one. Once it runs this function, player is going to get passed to player and this badge ID is going to become this badge ID here. Okay, and now this part works because we're actually supplying it with the player. So let's go ahead and test this out and make sure it's working. Okay, so we have joined the game and you see in the bottom right-hand corner that the badge was awarded. Something that might be useful while you're testing this and maybe adding some other badges to your game, if you want the badge to reappear or you're testing something slightly different with it and you want to delete the badge, you can do that by going into your inventory. After you go to your inventory, just select badges, find the badge that you want to delete from your inventory, and then just click on the three dots up here in the right hand corner, and then you're going to select delete from inventory. So what that's going to do, it's going to delete the badge so that you no longer own it, and then when you're running your script in studio, you'll get that badge again. Alright, so that's going to be it for this video. So now you know how to create a badge and give it to your players when they join the game. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.